This video is part of our free course on how to create an e-commerce platform like Shopify, using WordPress, WP Ultimo, WP Frontend Admin, and WooCommerce. You'll learn how to build a fully functional platform, where your users will purchase membership plans, to create and manage online stores easily. To manage their stores, your users won't have to use the normal WordPress dashboard, but will use a custom front-end dashboard for the entire network. They will view sales reports. Create and manage products. View and manage orders. View and manage customers. Set up payment gateways and taxes. Change their membership plans. Select custom domains for their sites. And everything related to their online store. The best part is that you don't need any programming knowledge. We'll guide you step by step to build your own e-commerce platform and start making money online. You can sign up to this free course by following the link in the description of this video. In this lesson, we'll learn how to display the WooCommerce products page on the front-end dashboard. This will allow our e-commerce platform users to create, edit and remove WooCommerce products on the front-end. We need to start by opening the front-end dashboard site. Once here, let's go to Pages. As you see, here's the first front-end dashboard page, which we added in the previous lesson. Now we need to add a new page to display the WooCommerce products on the front-end. We'll edit the page with Elementor. Now let's import the front-end dashboard template into this page. Here we need to enter the shortcode that will allow us to display the WooCommerce products on the front-end. As we told you in the previous section, you can copy the exact shortcodes you need from the text version of each lesson. After pasting the shortcode, let's click on Preview Changes. Once here, let's select the URL slug of the page, and the navigation menu to which we'll add it. We don't have much content here, because this is what WooCommerce shows when we haven't added any products. Therefore, we'll save the changes we've made so far, and we'll add a new product so we can view the page content. Now we can see some other elements here, which we will remove from this page because they're unnecessary for our e-commerce platform. We just need to click on Hide Element, and then click the element we want to hide. We will also remove the Start Import button from this page. You can keep it though. We can also use the Edit Texts button to change some texts and rename fields and buttons. For example, we'll change this message right here. Now let's save the changes. As you see, the text changes haven't been applied because they will be reflected until we publish the page. For now, let's open the new product form. We'll simplify the form by removing some unnecessary elements from it. We'll remove the More Options tab from the Add or Edit Product form. You can open every tab to see if there are some elements you would like to hide. We can also simplify the Short Description field. Here are some other elements that we will keep on this page. Remember, you decide which elements you want to keep on this page, and which you want to remove. Once we're done, we need to save the changes. Now we'll add a new product to view the products list. Now we can see the WooCommerce products page content on the front end. We can disable specific columns from the products list by ticking these checkboxes. We can also select which membership plans have access to this page. In this case, we will make it available for all membership plans. Finally, let's save the changes. 
As you see, some elements haven't been hidden, but they will be hidden when we publish the page. Now you can see that the elements don't appear anymore on the page. The same will happen with the texts we changed. This is what the WooCommerce products page will look like on the front end once the dashboard is complete. And this is what the add or edit product form will look like. In the next lesson, we'll show you how to display the WooCommerce product categories, tags, and attributes on the front end dashboard.